welcome students today's topic is various sterilization techniques used in plant tissue culture okay let's have a look over the different sterilization techniques which are used in plant tissue culture uh, these are the different sterilization technique dry heat sterilization technique flame sterilization technique autoclaving filter sterilization wiping with 70 percent ethanol surface sterilization these are the different sterilization techniques which we use while we are performing the plant tissue culture in the laboratory okay first of all let me tell you what is sterilization uh, which we have already discussed in my earlier video uh, uh, sterilization means what sterilization means the making of microbes free environment it is known as the sterilization okay why there is need of uh, making of microbes free environment uh, because to avoid contamination okay whenever we are uh, going for plant tissue culture practical the major problem occurs in front of us is that the contamination okay our media gets spoiled with the different unwanted microorganism contamination means what the growth of unwanted microorganism those microorganisms which we do not want to grow over our culture media that microorganism is known as the contamination okay and by using these sterilization techniques we can avoid contamination okay let's see here uh, what is dry heat sterilization technique and what we do in it uh, okay for dry heat sterilization uh, hot air oven is used okay and what is the principle of that dry heat sterilization in which we keep the glass wares at 160 degree to 180 degree celsius for three hours or in sometimes uh, we keep it at a 270 degree celsius for one hour here we are reducing the time but uh, we are increasing the temperature okay it is depend on your interest okay these are the techniques and for a dry heat sterilization where the dry heat sterilization uh, dry heat is present inside the hot air one dry heat is present okay and what we sterilize what material is sterilized uh, can be sterilized by using dry heat see here these are the materials glass wares can be sterilized pipettes can be sterilized plastic wares scalpels forceps needles etc uh, can be sterilized by using dry heat sterilization okay Le let's move towards the next sterilization technique that is a flame sterilization technique okay simply flame sterilization technique what material we can use sterilized by using flame sterilization technique the material is instruments like scalpels forceps glass rods and some uh, sometimes in microbial uh, practical wire loops can also be sterilized by using flame sterilization here uh, gas connector flame is there okay or uh, we know that the heat also has the ability to kill microorganism and here that flame uh, uh, flame also has ability to kill microorganism here for whatever uh, we are uh, using for the tissue culture uh, scalpels forceps rod etc uh, we can sterilize by using flame sterilization okay let's move towards the next sterilization technique and which is the most widely used uh, that is autoclaving okay autoclave is an uh, electronic equipment which is used for the sterilization purpose okay here by using autoclave we can sterilize culture media okay our ms media which we use for the tissue culture to grow microorganism and different several plant tissue culture glass wares glass wares can also be sterilized by using autoclave and sometimes contaminated culture plates can also be sterilized okay before they are subject to washing we sterilized them in the autoclave so that we can avoid uh, contamination or uh, sometime in infection we can also avoid okay so autoclave what is the principle of autoclave here autoclave the uh, we keep object or media at 121 degree celsius at 15 lb pressure for 15 to 40 minutes okay 15 to 40 minutes what happened at a such a high temperature and with pressure no microorganism can survive okay at such a high temperature and why we are applying pressure here by uh, sometimes uh, at extreme condition uh, bacteria or microorganism uh, uh, modify themselves and they get converted into the endospore okay the such endosporming microorganism can also be killed if we apply pressure okay with heat okay high, high temperature and pressure here uh, lb lab stands for the weight in pounds okay 15 lb means weight in pounds okay 121 degree celsius that is the temperature 15 lb is the pressure okay and why we are applying pressure to uh, kill the spore forming microorganism okay such such microorganism and time what time how much time it required uh, that is 15 minutes sufficient 15 minutes is more sufficient to kill any microorganism even spore forming microorganism and sometimes we keep media 
for up, uh, up to 40 minutes and we reduces uh, the temperature that is 110 degree celsius okay uh, when this condition we apply uh, when, if our media contains some heat stable or heat sensitive uh, heat sensitive elements okay the, the if we raise the temperature they may lost from our uh, media and we don't want to lose them okay so that for such a media uh, we have to keep uh, media at 110 degrees celsius but we are increasing the time for long time period 40 minutes okay uh, the, uh, this is the general principle of autoclave okay autoclaving next move towards the next uh, filter sterilization techniques okay uh, what we sterilize uh, heat stable compounds like gibberellic acid urea enzymes etc uh, can be sterilized by using filter sterilization technique okay this technique is used for those which we cannot sterilize by flame sterilization technique dry heat sterilization technique and autoclave and one more thing about autoclaving is that the inside the autoclave moist heat is there moist heat is there moist heat means the heat which contain moisture is known as the moist heat okay and who create the moisture vapors create the pressure and moisture okay and why the and we know that the vapor has a high uh, heat in them and that high high heat uh, has ability to penetrate deep inside deep inside the microorganism and it is become easy to kill any microorganism okay see here filter liquid liquid uh, suppose your sample is in liquid and for that uh, sample uh, sterilization uh, you have to use membrane filter there are various membrane filters like Wattman filter paper can also be used uh, which has a pouring size less than a microorganism size means microorganism cannot come across through that membrane okay and you will get your product okay uh, this technique is used and smaller pore size membranes are used in liquid sterilization method also hepa filter is also there used for filter sterilization what is hepa hepa stands for high efficiency particulate air high efficiency particulate air this filter is fit uh, to the laminar airflow and which is used to sterilize the air which is coming across the laminar airflow or which is blowing in the laminar airflow this HEPA filter is fitted to the laminar airflow and a liquid membrane is used for heat stable compounds uh, for sterilization of heat. Uh, another uh, technique is that whitening with 70% ethanol. Ethanol also we know that the ethanol also has ability to kill microorganism and hence uh, it is found that the 70% ethanol uh, is uh, can be used for sterilization okay and that 70% ethanol is sufficient to kill any microorganism okay uh, sufficient and whitening what we sterilize by using this 70 percent ethanol we can sterilize the platforms of laminar airflow okay laminar airflow that is the platform of laminar airflow where exactly actually we want to work we are uh, we are going to work that platform we have to sterilize it we can sterilize by using wipe 70 percent ethanol the ethanol is also a sterilization agent okay another technique is that surface sterilization using different st several sterilizing agents okay uh, such as disinfectant solution detergent solution we can use uh, by using them we can sterilize the surface wherever we want to work on that surface that surface we can sterilize by using different different several sterilizing agents okay what we sterilize by surface sterilization all plants material to be culture whatever the plants material you want to uh, culture that plant materials can be sterilized by uh, surface sterilized by using several sterilizing agents like detergents antibacterial solution hypochlorite solution we can use for this sterilization technique okay guys this is all about the sterilization technique okay see if you have any problem uh, you mention it in the comment comment box okay thank you